They're not marked, so we're going to say around the 32-yard line. First and 10 for the crush. Back in that three-man backfield, they'll take the snap. I'll give it off this time to uh, Vols. Vols breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle, and Vols going to take it to the house for a crush touchdown. Crush rolling as first play of the game goes for 78, or I should say a 68-yard run by Vols. Blake Vols with a 68-yard run. Blake Bull's first play of the ball game in the crush. Have a 6 nothing lead before we pretty much started. We're down to 749. They kicked the ball out of bounds. Crush got it, and on first play, Bulls took it right up the middle, and he was gone. Had one man to beat. He stiff-armed him, and he was gone to the house. As the crush now will go for two. They'll snap it to Bulls. Bulls bobbles it a bit, but he dies for it. Did he get there? No, he did not, so no PAT, so it will be with 7.49 left to go in the first quarter. The Crush on top, 6 zip. Your high football and the Fitrus County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Hall Sports and Outdoors. For all things sports, it's Hall Sports and Outdoors. Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, keeping Christmas green all year long. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, a great big play from Blake Voles. He got the snap to him at the fullback position, and he went right through the middle, and nobody was able to bring him down. He had one man to beat, and when he got to that man, he stiff-armed him and just went right into the end zone for a touchdown, a 68-yarder to start the ball game, folks. We're, what, now 11 minutes, or actually, yeah, about 11 minutes into the game, or 11 seconds, I should say, into the game, and York's all, or the crush already on top 6 zip. As they will kick it away, it'll be Soto to kick it away. Soto kicked some good kicks last week uh, against uh, the uh, squad out of uh, All Good. He kicked some deep ones last week, so we'll see if Soto does that here now. Crush on top six zip early, and Overton County about to get their first possession of the ball game. Soto lines it up. And he's going to kick a little pooch kick. That one's going to be taken by the front man. Uh, number 51 will come down with that one. 51 is uh, Leighton Dippery. Dippery able to come up with it. It's going to be first and 10 for the crush at, or I should say first and 10 for the Wildcats at the crush 41-yard line. Overton County with the football. Crush on top, six zip, just underway in this one. A big run by Blake Voles. That was a nice play by Blake. And now we'll see what uh, the Wildcats can do as up will come quarterback uh, Adrian Jenkins in the shotgun. He's got uh, Bowles to his left. They'll take the stat, and the crush going to jump off side. So that'll give them five right off the bat. And crush got to be a little more... Settling that. They've got to be a little more disciplined. They jumped off sides, give them five freebies. So it's going to be first and five from about the 48-yard line. Crush jumping off sides, giving them five freebies there as up will come up will come Jenkins. Jenkins got Bowles, I believe. Actually, no, it's uh, Math Matheny to his left. Bowles and Matheny. No, it is uh, going to be handed off, and that one's going to be wrapped up. Blake Bowles in the backfield to stop that one up for a three-yard loss. Good job by Blake. Blake coming out possessed tonight as he wraps up Jackson Bowles and drops him like a bad habit for a three-yard loss. So that's going to make it second and about eight for the Wildcats. Under seven and a half minutes here to go in his first half of play, or first quarter of play. Back in the shotgun uh, goes the quarterback, Jenkins. Got a four out. He throws it out quickly. That one's going to go through the hands and uh, going to be uh, knocked down and they're going to be incomplete as they try to get that one to, to uh, Bowles. Bowles couldn't hang on to a little high throw. And there to get a stick on him uh, was Winningham. Grayson Winningham come and put a wallop on him after he couldn't come up with the ball as he went uh, able to. 
get that they were in for the uh, ball because of course uh, when that pass if it was a little bit behind it could have been a, considered a fumble but it was just enough forward that it was considered an incomplete pass so it's going to be third and eight now for the Wildcats as Bowles back beside Jenkins in the backfield Jenkins calling out the plays Snap. Jenkins will roll. Now Jenkins going to get flushed out. Now he's going to throw on the run. He's got a man out there. He'll come down with it. That's number 10. He's got some running room, but he's going to be run down from behind, I believe. No, he dies for the goal line. Does he get there? No, he goes out of bounds at about the, uh, looks like about the 8-yard line. And that one was to Rocco Carwall. Rocco Carwall. Got the reception, and he was able to take it all the way down to about the eight-yard line. So it's first and goal now for the Wildcats. Crush had a rush on him. They had Poland in there, almost got to him, but he was able to get away and make that long play downfield. The receiver just stepped out of bounds when he was hit by the Crush's number 42, Robbins. Had Robbins not caught up with him, he'd have been in for the touchdown. Now they'll fake the handoff, and it's Jenkins on the keeper. Jenkins trying to bounce inside. He gets there. Touchdown over to County. Jenkins, a run, a eight-yard run. Jenkins with the touchdown at 649, so that took a minute off the clock to get theirs. At this point, folks, we may have a shootout going here. Crush got the score after two sec or after eleven seconds, and now they uh, have seen it tied up by the Wildcats, who will go for two. And now the Cats trying to uh, take the lead. They'll throw it in the middle, and that one's going to be in there for the two point conversion. Two point conversion, good. And the Wildcats have come back and answered the crush. They lead it 8-6 to six with 6.49 to go in the first. Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Whitehead Insurance, protecting what matters most to you. The Thrift, dedicated to the well-being of your family. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. And right back here, uh, where the Crush saw the Wildcats march it down the field and they uh, take it in the end zone and take a two point conversion and take a two point lead. It's now 8 6. And this is one of the few times, I don't know if the Crush has ever been behind this season. They've never played from behind, so that's pretty interesting. Let's see what they do here, how they respond. They've got back deep Robbins and also back deep is Cobb. They kicked it short last time, and the up guy's got to come up and get that this time. As when it's kicked short like that, whoever's up there has got to come get because after 10 yards, they can come up with it. And they're going to kick this one shallow again, and that one's going to take by the up man who will come up. And he trips himself up, man, uh, falls down at about the 37 yard line. For the crush, that was. Uh, Haken Ferguson, Haken Ferguson, they come up with that. Tried to make a cut, but he uh, bounced off one of his own players and kind of tripped him up. And it's going to be first and 10 now for the Crush at the uh, 30, their own 38 yard line. Crush got, uh, had one play last uh, possession and they punched it in the end zone, but did not get the two point conversion. And that's the difference because over to Kelly's come back and scored and they got the two point conversion. Now the snap, it's uh, this time up the middle to Voles, and Voles going to bang straight ahead for about four. Make it second and uh, six for the uh, crush. The Wildcats come in on the stop on that one. That time they were able to do a stop Voles. Crush getting the play now. 6.20 left to go here in the first quarter of play. As the snap this time is going to be taken uh, by Brandon. Brandon's got some running room. Brandon's going to get about uh, six, 
about about 13 on the carry, and he's going to have first down as he gets into Wildcat territory at the 48-yard line of the Wildcats. That one, Brandon, it was bobbled a little bit, but Brandon come up with it and did a good job to go straight ahead and pick up some big yardage to get a first down. So the crush with a first down, going to make it first and 10. And that goes to the 49-yard line, and now stop a play. They never did get the uh, tee up when they kicked it off earlier. So the crush now with a first and 10 at the 49-yard line, trailing at 8-6. to six. Crush will come up to the line. Snap this time goes uh, to uh, Headings. Headings going to bang ahead for about five. No, actually, that's Brandon again. Brandon on the carry. Cole Brandon on the carry, get about five on that one. He's going to make it second and five for the Crush. Crush using uh, that uh, run. They've not thrown the ball yet. The Wildcats come out throwing the football. So a big play to get them uh, set up for that first touchdown. And then they actually had a run by the quarterback, and they threw for the extra point. This time, snap straight back to Bulls. Bulls going to bowl. Hey, Bulls, who won? Bulls stiff arms and gets up over the 30 to about the 29-yard line. And Bulls laid a stiff arm down, but the defender able to trip him up anyway. But Bulls just shot through there, folks. And Bulls uh, bobbled the ball a little bit. Crush got to get a better handle on the ball. As he bobbled it just a little bit, but he came uh, th up with it and just straight ahead running. Hard, to tough, uh, hard-nosed running by. The crush, and I believe uh, we got a timeout called by Overton County. Overton County takes a break. We'll take one with them after we tell you the score. It's 8 6 Wildcats. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and free on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Stardust Lighting, shining a light on the best. Hometown Family Medical Clinic, where your health is air priority. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Crush using that ground and pound. Uh, they have pushed that to ball now down to the about the 29 yard line of Overton County. Trailing it eight to six. We'll see what uh, the crush do here. Overton County took a timeout uh, trying to stop the bleeding. They were letting a lot of yardage. They were not being able to slow the uh, crush rush down. So the crush rush will come back up again. We'll see what Overton County does here. They're going to line up tight up across the middle. They're going to put uh, eight guys in the box. And it's going to be handed off. And that one's going to be on the ground, I believe. Somebody come drop the football and come back up with it was Brandon. Brandon lost a handle on it. Gets uh, about a one-yard loss on that one. Pushes them back to the 30-yard line, just beyond the 30. 4.39 left to go here in this first quarter of play. It looks like the Wildcats going to bring everybody up in the box except for a couple. Uh, got two back uh, deep, one back uh, really deep, and then a couple intermediates there. And the rest are all right on the line as they'll take it. Go right up the middle of Vols again. Vols still uh, driving. Vols churning those legs. He's going to push it down, pick up a close to another first down. Blake with that rush gets it just about a first down. It's third and about a half a yard. And I believe we've got a player down for Overton County. Yeah, we do. The coach is out there looking at him. So while we got a break, we'll take a break and be back. Just a moment. Well, actually, he's back up now, so we won't take a break. We'll just stay for this one as he hops up and gets off the field on his own volition. So it will be Crush now with a third down and about maybe a half a yard. They don't have quite a yard to go for the first down. And Blake Vols just running over people, folks. He's punishing these Wildcats. They're putting eight in the box, and he's still running over them. 
So see what happens here as they come up. Snap this time back uh, to uh, Headings, and Headings going to go up the middle. Headings going to push forward down to about the 11-yard line. Headings going to get the first down. It's going to be first and 10 from the 11. Nathaniel's first carry, and he picks up a first down, and it's 342 left to go in the first quarter, and the crush, a uh, good-looking drive here, just been uh, picking up chunks of yardage, running that clock. That's what they want to do. Wildcats come out throwing. Crush coming out with a rush. So we get set this time. The snap. Going to go to Voles up the middle. Voles gets to the right side, and he gets over one, and he's tripped up. But he picks up about four before he's brought down. And he had one man to beat, and coming up underneath him was number 72. Good play by number 72, Green Puckett. As Puckett just wrapped his legs up and brought him down. And it's going to be second, and, well, they give him a little bit farther. They say about four and a half, so not quite five yards. But it'll be a second and about five and a half for the first down. Crush can't get a first down without scoring a touchdown. Snap this time again to Voles right in the middle, and Voles banging. Voles is in the end zone for a crush touchdown. Eight-yard run, Blake Voles. And Blake uh, has his second touchdown of the night, and they'll go for the two-point conversion. And the Crush take right back, to go right back down the field and take the lead back. They took a little bit more time off they did on their first possession, though, because their first possession took 11 seconds. But now they're going to uh, go for the two-point conversion. Snaps it to Voles. Voles will just go right up the middle, and that is a little too easy. He gets the two-point conversion. So Voles has attributed for the Crushes first 14 points as they take back the lead with 237 left to go here in the first. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Hall Sports and Outdoors. For all things sports, it's Hall Sports and Outdoors. Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, keeping Christmas green all year long. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Big win or big lead uh, for the crush downs. They come up with a, a quick uh, turnaround and they marched it down the field, able to punch it in. And that's a good looking drive by the crush there as they now go up 14 to 8 to get the two point conversion. And Blake Voyle's just been a man possessed here in this first half. As Soto will kick it away. They're going to bring their guys up a little bit. Now, that's what Allgood did. They kept bringing their guys up thinking uh, Crush going to kick those short ones, and Soto launched them over their heads. So 2.37 left to go here in the quarter. Soto to kick it away, and he kicks this one over to the right side. That one's going to go to number four, and he's going to drop on it right there. As discretion, the better part of valor for Jesse Gentry. Gentry saw the Crush coming at him, and he hit the ground. So he takes the... Ball at the 39-yard line will be first and 10 for the Wildcats. Wildcats last time got that big pass play from Gentry down to number 10. That was Carwile, and then they got the run in by Jenkins for the touchdown. Now the crush going to try to get a little pressure on Jenkins. Got bowls in the backfield. Crush. Showing blitz. Now they'll take off. Here comes a rush. Throws out there. And that one's going to be up for ground. Oh, and almost picked off uh, by Robbins. Robbins uh, almost had a shot at that one. They was intending that one for Carwile again. But uh, Carwile uh, was right there. He almost stepped in front and made the play on it. So that's one thing about it. It's up in the air. Robbins got to realize that he's got to ride for the ball too. Go for it. Pick that ball off. Going to be second and ten now for the Wildcats with 2.31 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Don't forget, coming up Friday, York will be hosting Oneida. It's a region matchup 
for all you folks on uh, Facebook, if you're watching this on CLTV, that'll already be played. And they're going to take it this time, man. Hand it off on the jet sweep, and that's going to be jet swept. As shooting the gap and laying the stick to him was Landon Vol or Blake Voles. Blake come out of nowhere and dropped the uh, back uh, for about a two yard loss. I believe that was number 10 Carwell. They tried to get him coming on the jet sweep, and he paid the Reaper on that one as he got leveled and loses a yard back to the 38 yard line. It's going to be third down and a dozen now for the Wildcats. Got to get some heat on Jenkins here. Crush showing uh, they're going to come after him. There's the snap, and here they come. They're going to throw it out quick, and it goes through the hands of the receiver. Oh, they're going to throw a flag on the play. They're going to get uh, number 22, uh, Voles, for uh, pass interference, I believe. That was bang, bang. That was a close one right there. But that'll give the Wildcats a first down. Pass interference. That'll put the ball all the way down the inside crush territory to the 48-yard line. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Wildcats as they get a big break there. Uh, the pass is a little too high. And the Vols got there, they said, just a second too quick. But that was one of those bang-bang plays. That would be a tough one to make the call on. Back of the shotgun goes Jenkins. He's all by himself back there. Got two to the or three to the right, two to the left. Now man in motion. They'll fake it to twelve. Now he's gonna take off with it. He's gonna get dropped back for about a four yard loss. As coming in there and laying a stick to him was number uh, that's fifty four. Yeah, number 54 coming there, Logan Rich. He shot the gap and just leveled Jenkins. So it's going to be second and 14 now for the Wildcats. Crush really putting the heat on. Good D by the Crush early. They gave up that one big play and then a run by Jenkins. Other than that, they played very well. They just had that uh, penalty a moment ago, kept this drive alive for the Wildcats. Jenkins in the gun. Got a man in motion. They'll hand out the man in motion, and that went nowhere. They were waiting on number 12 that time as coming in big number 66 for the crush. That is Gabriel Ledbetter. Met him as quick as he got the ball. And number 12, he knew he was in no man's land as Wetzel was just walloped as the Ledbetter just wrapped him up and dropped him as soon as he got the ball. He was lucky to hang on to it, uh, to be honest about it, because he got hit just about the time he got the ball. So now it's third and 16 for the Wildcats. Dropping back is Jenkins. Jenkins. Snap. The crush. Rushing. They're going to throw one out there. They got a guy breaking out there. Way overthrown. And now we're going to get another flag. Going to get a late hit on the crush. So another flag against the crush. Personal foul. Late hit. Or hit. Roughing the passer, they'll call it. And that will give the uh, Wildcats. I don't know if that'll be enough for a first down. It look like it's going to be enough for a first down. It depends on where they mark. Well, they're going to give them a great stepping off. That's some big yards that guy was stepping off. But anyway, it's a first down now for the Crush and another tough call. Our first down for the Cats, I should say. A tough call for the Crush on that one. As they got the heat on Jenkins, but a little too much heat. With 7.2 seconds to go here in the first, it's 14-8. Or 14-8 with the Wildcats moving the football. Wildcats been helped out by two penalties in this one. Now the high snap, Jenkins looking, he'll throw it, got a man down. Oh, right through the hands of Headings. Headings almost had to pick. They were looking for number 12, Wetzel, but Wetzel hadn't turned around yet, and Headings almost picked that one off. Incomplete, going to be second down and about 10 for the Cats as they got 3.4 seconds. This should be the last play of the first quarter. Crush on top, 14 to 8. 
Going over and getting the play uh, will be Jenkins. Crush on top, 14-8. to eight. But the Wildcats trying to answer. They've got a couple of penalty calls here that's kept this drive alive for them. Second and 10 now as Jenkins in the shotgun. Snap, they'll hand it to Bowles, and Bowles is wrapped up. That's as far as he's going is where he got the ball. And that's the end of the first quarter as he loses two to end the quarter. So we're through one. End of one, it's the crush. 14, over in County, eight. The action is red hot for junior high football. The Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Gary Maxwell Insurance. Whatever your insurance needs, Gary Maxwell Insurance has you covered. Terry Excavating, moving mole hills or mountains for you. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. The action is red hot for junior high football and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Stardust Lighting, shining a light on the best. Hometown Family Medical Clinic, where your health is our priority. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, the crush with the lead They're going into quarter number two. It's going to be third and long for the Wildcats, but uh, this is where they've been helped out by the guys in stripes as they have got a couple of penalties against the crush that have kept this drive alive as the crush had them, well, it should have been fourth and about 16 on the one. They got a uh, rough in the passer, and they gave the Wildcats a first down. Then they had a, also they had a second and about 10 a little less than 10, and they got the uh, pass interference that gave the uh, Wildcats the uh, first down. So now the Crush have them at third and about 13, and we'll see what they do here. It's got to remember, once he lets go of that ball, you don't hit him from that point on. As Jenkins now back in the shotgun, he's got bowls beside him. Jenkins. Takes a snap, man. A big rush. They're going to set the little screen. They're going to set up for Bowles. Bowles got some running room. Bowles going to break a tackle, and Bowles is going to head for the end zone and a touchdown to Overton County. A touchdown run of 41 yard run by Bowles. And uh, they'll go for the two point conversion here. And that one was 7.49 left to go as they set up that one perfectly. Crush rushed, and they let the rush come through, and then they drop it off to Bowles. And Bowles only had one guy to beat when he made a little juke move and beat him. He was headed toward that corner of the end zone and a touchdown. So it's a tie ball game right now, 14-14. And I think Overton County is going to want to take a timeout. They do. Timeout on the field with 7.49 to go here in the first half. It's 14-14. The action is red hot for junior high football and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Hall Sports and Outdoors. For all things sports, it's Hall Sports and Outdoors. Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, keeping Christmas green all year long. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. So over to Kenny with the timeout. I'm not sure why they called the timeout. They were going for the two-point conversion. Now that's the difference in the ball game right now. If the Crush can hold them here and keep this two-point conversion out, the game will be tied. The Crush missed their two, first two-point conversion. Over to Kenny got theirs. So now they're going for the two points again. And we'll see what they can do here. <laughs> As it will be Jenkins with bowls uh, to his right. They set up that screen pass perfectly a moment ago as they dropped off that little screen pass and headed the end zone easily was Bowles. Now, snap back. Jenkins rolling out. Jenkins getting a big rush. He's going to throw it, and that's going to be incomplete. So no PAT, and that keeps us tied up at 14 apiece. 
The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Stardust Lighting, shining a light on the best. Hometown Family Medical Clinic, where your health is our priority. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, Overton County comes right back and answers, helped out by a couple of penalties that kept their drives alive. Now they have tied this ball game up, and it's 14-14. Folks, we said this one will be a good one, and we got a good one brewing here. As it will be the crush coming out to uh, receive the kick, it will be Jenkins to kick it away. Jenkins uh, comes up. He's thrown for two touchdowns. Are thrown for one touchdown and run for a touchdown. Now we'll kick it back to the crush. And he kicks it deeper this time. And it's taken uh, back about the 32. And coming up the middle with it is Voles. And Voles going to fight his way all the way to midfield. Blake Voles with a good return. Blake Voles is doing a little bit of everything right now. So Voles gets him up to midfield. And it'll be first and 10 crush from the 50. Crush, as we said, uh, came out with the first play of the game, the first possession, first play, a 68-yard run by Blake Voles, then an eight-yard run by Jenkins uh, to tie it up, and then they took the two-point, made their two-point conversion, went ahead uh, eight to six. Back came the Crush with an eight-yard Blake Voles run, and now they've got the ball again after the Crush just saw Oden County score and tie this game up. They'll give it off to Brandon this time. Or make that, uh, I believe that is Headings on the carry. Nathaniel Headings going to pick up about three before he's brought down. Going to make it second and seven for the uh, Crush. Crush playing for the Eastern Division title here. They get to this, uh, they will host that first round of the playoffs. Yeah, I think that'll be a week from Thursday. Now, Thursday, the Crush still got one regular season game. they got to go to Cumberland County on Thursday. Snap to Voles. Voles straight ahead. Voles still on his feet. Voles going to fight for about five or six before he's brought down. And he's going to be close to another first down. It's going to be third and short for the uh, Crush. Actually, third and two. So they gave him about, uh, they gave him about a five on that one. So third and two for the crush. Need to keep this drive alive. It looks like this one's going to, maybe who has the ball last, maybe decides this ball game or who makes the first hiccup. <coughs> Back in the gun, they'll take it to Bowles. Bowles straight ahead. He's got the first down and more. Still on his feet, still pushing ahead. And Bowles bowling his way all the way up to the 30. About 35 yard line. So Voles gets the first down, needed two, got eight. So it's going to be first and 10 for the crush. So first and 10 for the crush. 6 10 left to go here in quarter. Number two headed toward halftime. Great crowd here tonight for the crush. As the crush. Snap this down. Oh, they got uh, Livingston to jump, I believe. And encroachment, that's going to give them five. So that's going to make it first and five. And that'll be a replay from, a repayment, I guess, from earlier in the ball game when they got the crush to jump. You got Bulls, Brandon, and uh, Headings in the backfield. Now we're right. About the 30-yard line. Snap this time. They're going to hand it off to Diller. Diller over the left side. Diller's got some running room, and Diller's going to take it to the house for a crash touchdown. Dakota Diller, a 30-yard run. Dakota Dillard on the... Uh, Hand off to the uh, wing. And that's with 5.35 left to go. They'll go for the uh, two-point conversion. 
And this one's just like a good heavyweight five, folks. It's uh, punch, counter punch so far. Crush going to get to Vols. Vols going straight ahead. Vols going to try to push his way in. Does he get there? No, he does not. No PAT. So the Crush take a 2014 lead with 535 to go in the half. The act. The action is red hot for the junior high football and the Fentress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Whitehead Insurance, protecting what matters most to you. Meta Thrift, dedicated to the well-being of your family. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, the crush answer the Overton County score by moving it down the field and punching it in again on a Dillard run as Dakota Dillard now with his first touchdown of the game and the crush are up 20-14 to 14 and getting ready to kick it away to uh, the Wildcats again. Now, the Wildcats, they have scored on their first two drives as well, so both teams have had the football and scored on every drive. But the Wildcats were helped out by a couple of big crush penalties, a roughing the passer and a pass interference. Kept Livingston uh, drive alive in that one. And now it's going to be Soto to kick it away. And the Wildcats keep inching up forward a little bit. I think it's time maybe Soto put one deep and let them run back and try to find it. As Soto will come up to it and get ready to kick it. Now they back up just a little bit. Soto kicks this one deep, and it's taken by the back guy, number 12. And he'll come up that. Watzel, Watzel's got some running room. Watzel trying to get outside. He breaks the tackle. Still on his feet, and he's finally going to be pushed out of bounds at about the, it looks like about the 38-yard line of the crush. Good return by number 12, Watzel. Watzel as Soto, the kicker, had to knock him out of bounds. Going to be first and 10 for the Wildcats with 524 left to go in the half, and they got great field position. Crush need to get that pressure on again like they were earlier and just not get those penalties. You can't have those penalties. The uh, pass interference will bang, bang plays. Uh, it's a tough call. Could gone either way. And then the rough in the passer call, they hit him after he let the ball go, and that's always going to get you a penalty in, in junior high and high school football. They're trying to protect those quarterbacks. Jenkins in the gun. Takes the snap. Rolling, rolling, throwing. He throws that one out there, and it's going to be caught. Oh, a great catch. Yeah, it's coming up with Wetzel. And that time, Headings, I thought Headings was going to pick that one off, but Wetzel just come in and took it. No, actually, that was Robbins out there. Robbins looked like he had that one going to pick it off, but uh, Wetzel just stepped in front of him and took it, and you got to break on that ball. Crusher sitting back there waiting on it, and the uh, Wildcats are coming to it. You got it. When that ball's in the air, it's anybody's. Go for it. First and 10 now for the Wildcats. They're sitting at about the 22 yard line. Of the crush. Crush just uh, punching it in a moment ago. They didn't get the two point conversion. So now back in the shotgun. It'll be snapped off this time and keeping it's Jenkins. And Jenkins is going to be wrapped up and dropped. He got a maybe a yard or two before he was brought down. <laughs> Jenkins keeps it himself, picks up a couple. Joseph Leonard trips him up and brings him down. Make it second and eight for the Cats. Overton County comes in here after that loss to Avery Trace. They're playing for their playoff lives right now. A loss here, and they may be out of the playoffs. The Crush, meanwhile, trying to seal that number one spot and get a home bid for the first round of the playoffs. I think the Wildcats have to win tonight. I think the Crush will, regardless of tonight, well, it'll depend on Thursday, of course, if they can beat the Cumberland County, they'll be the number one seed going in, regardless of what happens tonight. 
Snap back now, and it's going to be a late pitch over to number two, Bowles. Bowles trying to get outside. He's going to be knocked down, gets maybe a yard or two before he's knocked down. And, boy, he, the quarterback got leveled as he did just what you're supposed to. And now we've got a flag over here. What's the flag on this time? The official coming out here. That's going to be false start by the uh, – the uh, Cats, so that'll back them up five, and that'll keep it a second down, but that's going to make it second and a dozen. So that's one of the few penalties that's been called against the Cats tonight. While Cats get the penalty, they'll back up five. It's going to be second and a dozen. So the crush, good pressure that time. Just uh, the option pitch. The quarterback said he was going to get hit, and he pitched it. And uh, somebody moved before the uh, snap, so it's all for naught. And for Jenkins, that's probably not what he wants to see here. As it was all for naught. As he drops back now, got a big rush. and He's going to throw it for the corner. And that one is almost picked off by Brandon. They was looking for number four, but the throw was kind of uh, toward the post. And number four was cutting toward the corner. <laughs> Brings up third and a dozen now for the Wildcats. Not quite sure how the other district stacks up right now, but right now, Crush on top of this district and looking to uh, be at home for that first round of the playoffs. They can take a win here, keep this win here. Overton County playing to try to get in the playoffs. If they don't win tonight, they will be in a bowl game. They will drop to number three, and Avery Trace will get that number two spot. So the snap back, it's going to be a big rusher setting up that screen again, and there it is, the Bowles. And Bowles is going to try to get in. He breaks the tackle, head toward the end zone, and Bowles is in again. And that one uh, about <coughs> 32 yards. Thirty-two yard pass to Bowles. And they'll go for the two-point conversion to try to take back the lead. And that's with 3.33 left to go here in the first half. Crush going to have to have somebody drop back and stay back on that. When they see they're letting everybody go, they're going to have to stop back. They're just setting up that little old screen pass to perfection. And right now Jenkins is looking to give his team the lead. Snaps back. Jenkins looking. He's going to throw down the middle again. Too high. He, a PAT no good. And we got a 20-20 ball game. So it's not Friday night, but it's still 2020. And we got uh, still 3.33 to go in the half. The action is red hot for junior high football and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Air live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Gary Maxwell Insurance. Whatever your insurance needs, Gary Maxwell Insurance has you covered. Terry Excavating, moving mole hills or mountains for you. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. So now the Crush uh, are tied up again, and they have the football. They got 333 to work it down the field and try to get some points before the end of the first half because coming up at the second half, uh, Overton County going to get the ball to start that second half as they deferred on that uh, opening kickoff. And so now the Crush need to get something going here and try to get some points So because uh, right now it's uh, my turn, your turn, and whoever's got the football scoring. So with 3.33 to go, they'll kick it away. Stepping back to do the kick, it'll be Jenkins. He's not kicked it deep, so we'll see what the crush can do here. Another short line driver. Oh, it's going to get past Robbins, and Robbins going to have to go way back to get it. Now he picks it up, and he's going to try to bring it back. Cuts out to the outside. Gets around one, gets around another, but gets up to about the 30. And then he's going to be dropped, and the crush going to have first and 10 from about the 30-yard line. Is that when they kicked right up the middle? And the squib kick got away from Robbins when he finally picked it up. He did get a good return back, though. Got it back to the 30 in pretty decent field position, but only 325 left to go in the first half. They're going to have to get the score quickly on this one. 
And Crush still have all of their timeouts. They've not used any timeouts. I think Overton County's used all of theirs here in the first half. So the Crush with the football down, or now tied at 20 apiece. 325 left to go here in the first half. And as we said, Overton County gets the ball to start the second half. We'll see what happens here. Crush coming up. Two-man backfield, a three-man backfield. They'll go to uh, Voles, and Voles going to try to get around the outside. Voles make that Dillard. Dillard got the snap. He's going to pick up a first down. Dillard on 11-yard run. Good job by Dillard. They got the uh, snap quickly uh, to Dillard coming from the wing, the right wing. He picks up a first down. It'll be first and 10 for the crush. <coughs> Trying to go a little tempo now. They got to wait for the... Sticks to be set, and I thought uh, they didn't start the clock till the sticks were set, but they let a lot of time run off there on the crush. As they'll come up now with a uh, game tied at 20 apiece. This time, the snap to Voles. Voles going to go up front, and he's going to be wrapped up from behind. Good job that time by number Number 75 of the Wildcats. That was a good play by him. Uh, was Matthew Slayton coming in and wrapping him up for Hine. Now the crush will take a timeout, and we will too. Tied at 20 apiece. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitrus County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Stardust Lighting, shining a light on the best. Hometown Family Medical Clinic, where your health is air priority. Go Crush from the entire Crush crew. So the Crush is going to have it second and eight. Uh, Vols with a couple of yards on that one. That's probably his shortest run of the night. He had broke the uh, first play of the ball game for a touchdown of 62 yards. Or 63 yards, and then after that, uh, he had a, a run of eight yards for a touchdown. Dillard had a 30 uh, yard run, but uh, the Wildcats have answered with a uh, Jenkins run and then two passes, two bowls, and they got uh, two touchdowns on two screen passes. They set up that screen perfectly. When they saw the crush coming all out, they just uh, send bowls out about five yards uh, past the line of scrimmage. They drop it to him, and then he's gone. And now it's going to be second and, and eight for the crush. Both teams have scored on every possession in this game. It's kind of like an indoor football league game right now, the way the score is running up there. Crush. Snaps to uh, this. They're going to hand it off to Dillard over the right side. Dillard gets around the outside, but it picks up about seven before he's brought down. Going to make it second and short. Or no, they're going to give him enough for the first down. I thought he's a little bit short, but they're going to say it's a first down. So first and ten for the crush. Just inside Wildcat territory. They're at the 48. Down to 240, and the crush is going to have to pick up the pace just a little bit. As they're taking a lot of time off the clock. As we're down to two and a half minutes left to go here in the first half of play. Cats get to start the second half. There's the uh, snap back to uh, uh, Headings, and Headings goes straight ahead. Headings going to get about three before he's brought down. Headings uh, gets a good run, gets some yardage. They're going to give him. We're going to give him about five, so he gets about half of it. That's exactly where they spotted him when he went down here. But they're going to get about half the distance he needs for the first down. Two minutes left to go in the ball game, or not in the ball game, but in the first half of the ball game. And the uh, crush need to get something started here. <laughs> it's going to be snapped to uh, there. They'll hand it off to Dillard. Dillard over the left side. Dillard going to drag a defender. He's still on his feet, still on his feet. Gets all the way down to about the 31-yard line. He's going to have a first down for the crush. First and 10 with 101 seconds left to go. Good job by uh, the big guy Dillard. They're handing that off to him on that uh, wing, sw that uh, bit of uh, jet sweep by the uh, wing. And he's coming around getting the ball from uh, Brandon, and Brandon's faking to go in the other direction, and that allows uh, Dillard uh, to get a big run. 
Snap this time to Voles right in the middle, and Voles going to get about three. Going to make it second and ten, or second and seven from the 30, and we're going to timeout called by the Crush. Timeout on the field with 116 left to go in the half. It's all tied up, 20 apiece. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitrus County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Hall Sports and Outdoors. For all things sports, it's Hall Sports and Outdoors. Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, keeping Christmas green all year long. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, the Crush uh, take the timeout. Uh, they've got second and about seven, they'll say, from the 30, it uh, looks like about the 32-yard line. Crush needing to get a score here because Overton County will get the ball to start the second half, and both teams have scored every time they've touched the ball, folks, so it could be the first one that blinks in this one. But it's going to be second and seven. As we said, uh, this one uh, big for the Crush. That will seal them the number one spot regardless. And uh, most likely they're going to be number one anyway because uh, even with a loss here tonight, and of course uh, they still have that Cumberland County game. Depending on what that Cumberland County game does, it'll just depend a lot of it. But right now the Crush got a chance to uh, take in the score here. If they can score before halftime, that'll be really good for this squad because Overton County, as you said, will have it to start the second half. Snap this time. They're going to give it off over to the right side, and Dillard is going to be wrapped up. Dillard's going to lose a yard back to the 30, and it's going to be uh, down there, and Dillard's going to lose back to uh, – they're going to mark him about the 31, so he's going to lose a yard or two, and we're down under a minute. The crush is going to have to pick up the pace just a little bit. Because they've got to get the ball off. They still need to go get a first down here and uh, try to get a touchdown. And uh, the crush down to 40 seconds. They need to go. They're running a lot of time off the clock. Snap back this time. Hayden's he's got a man out there. Throws it out there. Got a catch and getting down the sidelines. Going out of bounds at about the 11-yard line is number 23, Cobb. Nathaniel Cobb with the first catch of the night for the Crush. And the Crush now got a first and a 10 from the 11. And we've got 30 seconds left to go here in the quarter. We wondered how long before they had let Eddings throw the ball. Eddings that time laid that one out well to Cobb. Cobb broke one tackle, then got shoved out of bounds, which was a good thing for him. It stopped the clock. As now... Snap to Voles. Voles bobbles it and Voles bounces ahead. Now he's going to be wrapped up and dropped right there at the, the 10 yard line. Got maybe a yard. We're going to have a timeout call by the crush. And that snap a little high. Voles bobbled it a bit. And when he did, he was able to be wrapped up. And that's going to make it second. We'll actually give him three. So second and seven when we come back. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitrus County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Stardust Lighting, shining a light on the best. Hometown Family Medical Clinic, where your health is our priority. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, the Crush have it uh, second and seven from the, uh, about the, it looks like about the eight-yard line. Got to get down to the two for a first down. But they need a touchdown. They've got 22.6 seconds to go. They don't have any timeout, so it's going to be a big play here for the Crush. Overton County trying to hold them here because they'll get the ball to start the second half. As the crush, he's got to get it. And now Overton County calls a timeout. So Overton County takes a break, and we'll take one with them. Still tied at 20. 
The action is red hot for the junior high football and the Fentress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Whitehead Insurance, protecting what matters most to you. Meta Thrift, dedicated to the well-being of your family. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. So the Crush have 22 seconds left to go here in this uh, first half of play, 22.6. And they need a touchdown here because both teams have scored every time they've touched the ball. So the Crush, without any timeouts, have maybe two plays left before the half. We'll see what they do here. It's going to be, they're right at the, uh, about the eight-yard line. So it's going to be second and... Second and about seven for the first down. They'll snap it back. This time they're going to give it to Diller. Diller going to cut inside. Diller's in the end zone for a crush touchdown. Ooh, what a crush touchdown on that one as the crush gets it in. And that makes it 26 to 20. And that is an eight and a, an eight yard run. With 18.3 seconds to go. And an eight-yard run by Dillard. And they'll go for the two-point conversion. They'll snap it back, and this time they'll give to a Dillard. Right side, Dillard bangs it in for the two-point conversion. So with uh, only 18.3 seconds to go here in the half, it's 28-20. Crush. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fentress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Hall Sports and Outdoors. For all things sports, it's Hall Sports and Outdoors. Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, keeping Christmas green all year long. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Eighteen point three seconds left to go here in the first half, and I guess each team has one more timeout. I thought the Overton County squad used all theirs, but uh, they say they didn't. So they still what we see here one left to go, and the Crush will kick it away with eighteen point three seconds left to go here in this first half. It's been an entertaining first half, folks. You don't want to go anywhere. This second half is as good as this first half. We'll see who makes the first uh, slip. Whoever makes the first slip will lose this ball game. So we'll see what happens here. Crush going to kick it away. Crush will kick it away. <laughs> 18.3 seconds. Soto to kick. They're expecting this one to be on the ground. So Soto will... Kick it, and he kicks a little squibber, and that one's going to be taken by the up man. He's going to be dropped right there at the 50. So that one, uh, the up man took it, number 58, and he was dropped right as soon as he got the ball. 58 is Jordan Geist. Geist that was dropped right as quick as he got the ball at the 50. So first and 10 for the Wildcats, and we'll see if uh, they try to go for it here. They've got 17.6 uh, seconds to play with. And according to this, they've still got one timeout left to go. So I think they've actually used all their timeouts. As it will be the quarterback stepping back. Got to watch out for that little screen play. That's been very effective for him. And he'll drop back. He's going to throw one out there. That one's long, and it's going to be incomplete. Way too long for the intended receiver as Zion Poland got in on him. 13 seconds, so that took about four off. Second and 10 now for the Wildcats. Thirteen ticks left to go here in the first half of play, and folks, it has been a wild one. As both teams have been able to score every time they had the ball, the Wildcats got helped out by a couple of penalties by the Crush to keep one of their drives alive. But uh, right now, the crush is on top, 28-20, to 20, with uh, 
the Wildcats getting the ball to start the second half. So it will be back in the shotgun. Goes the quarterback. They'll take the snap. He'll drop back. Look, and he throws it across the middle. Incomplete. Trying there for number 12, uh, Wetzel. Couldn't come up with it. That's a, had some zing on it. Gene could put a throw on that one. <clears throat> this young guy's going to be a good quarterback for his career is over. Got a good-looking arm. Got good size, too. So we'll see what they come up with here with third and uh, – 10, and you got nine seconds left to go. They may just try to run this out and uh, not uh, give up anything crazy here as uh, they will come uh, back up the line of scrimmage. Snap back. Uh, they'll pitch it last second. Now it's down on the ground, and it's going to be taken there by number two, and we're going to have a flag on that. Oh, come on. They're going to get a flag on that one? Come on. He went after the ball, and now they're going to say, surely. No flag, they say. Good. They take that one away as the uh, uh, far official threw a flag on that one. I'm not sure what he was thinking. It's going to be fourth now, and... About, oh, 18 for the Wildcats. So they, now like they're saying 20, and they're going to just, I think, let the clock run out. They will. We're at halftime of this one. And at the half, it is Crush 28, Wildcats 20 here at halftime. We'll be back in just a moment. The action is red hot for junior high football and the Fitters County Crush is the team to watch. Air live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Gary Maxwell Insurance. Whatever your insurance needs, Gary Maxwell Insurance has you covered. Terry Excavating, moving mole hills or mountains for you. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. And here we go, getting ready for the second half to get underway. The uh, Crush with the lead to start this second half, 28-20. As uh, Crush uh, and the uh, Overton County squads both scoring on every possession. Uh, the only uh, possession that uh, Overton County did not score on was that last one. They only had 18 seconds left to go in the uh, half. Uh, they uh, were unable to take it down the field, but uh, for the most part, it's been a... Uh, Offensive uh, explosion by both teams. Neither team uh, able to stop the other at this point. And we'll see if that continues here in just a moment as uh, it'll be the uh, Overton County squad getting the football to start the second half. Trailing 28-20. Uh, to 20. It'll be Soto to kick it off, and Overton County once again coming up close. They're expecting that uh, short uh, squib kick or even an onside kick to start this second half. We'll see what Soto does. And he'll kick it off. It will be a squibber, and that'll be taken by the up man right about the 48-yard line. So good field position for the Wildcats. Has coming up with that one was number 32, I believe. That is 32 is, let's see. Actually, I don't have a 32, so it couldn't be 32. 22, I guess it was, to come up with. That is Goolsby come up with that uh, squib kick. First and 10 Wildcats. Great field position for them to start this second half. Crest got to watch out for that uh, little screen pass this half as they will see the uh, Wildcats get the ball to start it. They'll come out quickly. They'll throw it over here to number 10 on the little out. He comes back inside, spins, and he's going to get hit, and he's going to get dropped right about the first down the yardage. Crush got to him, was able to hit him a couple of times, but he spun away from it and still got the first down. But there is a flag down on the place, so we'll see what the flag is. <coughs> the uh, official throwing his hat uh, down. I'm not sure what the call was. 
it'll be from back about the 48 yard line so whatever it is it's going to be marked up from the spot of the foul so that's going to be about uh, let's see we'll see what they call it i'm not sure they still haven't made a signal holding against the wildcats so that's going to back them up and false start by the wildcats so that's going to back them up and uh, that will back them up Let's see, probably all the way back. Going to make it a first and eight team for the Wildcats as that pushes them back about eight yards. So a penalty against the Wildcats, actually two penalties, but the second one, they'll take the second one, take the 10-yarder, and with 747 now to go, it will be the Wildcats back in the shotgun. Set to take the snap is Jenkins. He gets it. He quick rush. They'll throw it out over to the right side and dropping it was uh, number 12. No, that's number four over there. Dropped that one. That is Gentry. Gentry was there, and he was upset. He dropped the ball. He had it right in his hands and dropped it. Second and long now for the Cats. The Crush trying to get a stop here. They've got them at the 41-yard line, second and 18. Get all the way down to the 42 of the other, on the other end of the field. So they got to get to the Crush's 42, so it's second and 18. As back to take the snap, but we'll go Jenkins. Jenkins. Gets a snap, drops back quick. There's that little screen. Almost picked off. Reading it perfectly. That time was Cobb. And Nathaniel Cobb just almost got an interception. He had a whole lot of real estate and a whole lot of jerseys, white jerseys in front of him to do some blocking. So a good job by staying home that time by Cobb as Cobb almost came up with a huge play there. And that play had worked for two touchdowns for the Wildcats, but this time Cobb just stayed back, let the rush go, and then he stepped up in front of the uh, front of Bowles, the tailback coming out of the backfield. So now it's going to be Crush trying to shut him down here. Overton County was shut down the end of the first half. And they'll drop back this time. Gets a rush on. They're going to throw it out there. I got a man out there way too overthrown on that one. As that one, three yards too deep for the intended receiver. And that means it's going to be fourth down and about 16. As they intended that one for Jackson Bowles. So now we'll see if the crush uh, get, to get the football back. Or if Overton County is going to go for it on fourth down. At their own 42-yard line, trailing by eight. That's going to be really risky if they do. We'll see what they do. They're going to come out. They're going to go for it. So fourth and sixteen, or fourth and eighteen for the uh, Cats. They'll take the snap, drop him back quick as a quarterback. He'll throw it out, lofts it up for the man. I got him, and he's going to be uh, getting the first down more. He gets all the way to the 32-yard line. Boy, he led them perfect on that one. That was a great pass from Jenkins down there to, is that number 12 of a Wetzel again on that one? No, that's number two. That is Bowles. Bowles, the tailback, was out there, and he led him perfect. Just dropped that ball right in there. And a big gain on a fourth and 18. They get about 30. So that's going to be uh, going to be first down for the uh, Wildcats at the uh, Crush 34-yard line. Crush got a bow up here. That was a big play there. They had him fourth and really long. And a nice pass from Jenkins. This kid's got an arm, folks. Back in the shotgun, he'll take the snap. There's a big rush. Gets away from one, gets away from another, but he will throw it on the run, and that's going to be incomplete. Good job getting away and just throwing that ball and getting it out of play was Jenkins. As they had a rush on him, they had him hit a couple of times. Actually had his arm when he had the ball. It could have been an easy fumble there had they been able to strip it out, but wasn't able to. So 647 left to go here in the quarter. Quarter number three, just starting the second half. Crush on top, 
And uh, with the exception of that last uh, drive by Overton County in the end of the first half when they only had 18 seconds, everybody has scored on every possession in this ball game. It'll be Jenkins back in the shotgun. Jenkins. Snap. Rolls, looks, looks. He's got a man out there. He's going to throw it down there. Going to be knocked away by Eddings. Eddings uh, just got a hand on it. They had Bowles out there, and Bowles almost come up with it anyway. But a good play by Eddings to get up and get a hand on it and disrupt the play. Going to be third down and ten. And the Wildcats went for it on fourth and six, and 18 from their own 42. You can bet they're going to go for it on fourth down if they, even they don't get any yards here at all. As I don't, I'm not sure what it'd take for them to have to punt, but they didn't. They went for it uh, in their own territory on really fourth and long. <laughs> Jenkins in the shotgun. He's got bowls to the left. And the crush almost jumped. They're going to get them. They're going to get the crush. That'll give them five freebies. And the crush hurting themselves with these penalties. That's going to be five freebies there. Crush has got to be more disciplined. They're getting a little too overzealous. And they're jumping off side of this pole in that time. Got a little bit of a quick start. And it's going to be third down and now five for the Wildcats. As they'll come back up with a third and five, much more manageable. Jenkins in the shotgun. Jenkins gets a snap. He drops back. Gonna throw this across the middle. That's gonna be incomplete. Good job that time by Joseph Leonard to get in the way of the receiver and come up with the distraction. So it's gonna be fourth and five now, and you can bet the Wildcats gonna go for it here. Fourth and five, six and a half minutes left to go here in the third quarter of the ball game. Wildcats with uh, their possession here. This is their, this will be their fifth, sixth possession of the ball game. They scored on five of their six. As it will be back in the shotgun. Jenkins. <coughs> Jenkins waiting. Man in motion. Fakes the hand off to him. Now a big throw. They're going to go for the corner. They got a man out there coming down with number 10. Gets in the end zone for a touchdown. And uh, that was a good looking throw again. As uh, getting the touchdown is uh, Rocco Carwall. Carwall got away from uh, Cole Brandon and gets the touchdown. And that was a, see that was about a 32 yarder. So Carwell into the end zone. They'll go for the point after. And right now it's 28-26. Crush. As I said, folks, it may be the first team that blinks in this one. The uh, Crush had the Wildcats in a fourth and 18, and the Wildcats converted on it. So now they'll go for the uh, two-point conversion. Got a man in motion. They'll fake the handoff. It'll be Jenkins trying to keep it himself, and they're going to hold him up. He's not getting there. Good job by the uh, crush defense. They hold him up, and with uh, 6.28 to go in the third, it is the crush still on top, 28-26. The action is red hot for junior high football and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Air live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Gary Maxwell Insurance. Whatever your insurance needs, Gary Maxwell Insurance has you covered. Terry Excavating, moving mole hills or mountains for you. The Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, uh, okay, Overton County comes out, punches it in. Uh, are you surprised? That's uh, they, They've scored on all but one of their possessions. The Crush has scored on every possession. And the Crush getting ready to get the ball back. 28-26, the uh, two-point conversions have been the difference. The Crush has made one more than have the uh, Wildcats. 
And the Wildcats now going to kick it away. <coughs> and it will be Jenkins to kick it. Jenkins kicks this one over to the right side, taken by the up man. That one will be back up over the 40, up to the 47, 48-yard line before he's brought down. And I believe that was Brandon on the catch. Brandon, Colt Brandon, gets it uh, first and 10 for the uh, uh, for the uh, crush right out the 48-yard line, 49-yard line, they're going to say. So they give him the 49. Good return. And the crush in business to start this second half. Crush will come up. It's going to be first and 10. Crush. Snap back to Brandon. Brandon going to have to off Diller. Diller going to cut back inside. Diller going to pick up about four or five on the carry. Going to be second and the five. Good job. Good yardage on that first down carry. Going to get about four. So second and six. Now. Six thirteen left to go here in the first or third quarter. And what has turned out to be a slugfest in this one. Not a lot of defense. But a whole lot of score on the board as we've already between the two teams got 54 points on the scoreboard between the two of them in the crush now moving the football again. second and six for the crush to the front of the Bulls and it's going to be uh, off his end he has to fall on it that's been a couple of uh, rough snaps for Bulls they've been snapped a little bit to his side and where he back position. It's got to come pretty much right to him. As Grush now going to have it third and long. Third and about seven. That's probably the longest he's had in a while. And uh, let's see. Uh, there's going to be a fumble again by the Crush and they're going to fall on it I believe. Uh, maybe Overton County has come up with it. And Overton County does, and there is your first turnover of the ball game as the Crush uh, turn it over, they fumble it away. And now uh, Overton County with the football and a chance to take the lead. It's going to be first and 10 from uh, their own 49-yard line. So first and 10 for the Crush, or for the uh, Cats, I should say, the Crush. Turn it over. First turnover of the ball game. And it's going to be first and ten now, Wildcats. And now the Crush got to stiffen their defense as both teams have had one possession they have not scored on. And the Wildcats now will set to take the snap. They'll hand it off this time to Bowles. Bowles is going to try to cut inside. He's going to be wrapped up and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. The running game for the Cats has absolutely gone nowhere. Actually, that's Wetzel. Wetzel was uh, wrapped up and dropped as quick as he got the ball. So it's second and ten now for the Wildcats. The Crush turned it a ball over and allowed the uh, Wildcats to get it back now right at midfield. And they've definitely got the momentum going their way. They've had a couple of fourth downs they've converted on and looked really good doing it. Especially that fourth and 18. That was really good from their own 42-yard line. So now it will be Jenkins back in the shotgun. He's got balls over to his left. Jenkins. <coughs> Snap drops back. Big rush again by the crush. Got to watch for that screen. Now they're going to get the quarterback running outside. And he gets it picked off. Taken away by the crushes. Linder. Linder's going to take it to the house on the INT. Crush touchdown. Joseph Linder, the interception and touchdown. So turnover, turnover. And now the Crush have a lead of 20, of 28. Actually, they should be 34 
to uh, 26 and can go up now by two scores if they can punch it in here with a two-point conversion. Big play by Big Joe Linder as he come rumble up there and was coming up to make the play. It looked like Jenkins was trying to throw it past him, and he just picked it off and took it to the house because there was nobody in front of him. Just a whole lot of green. Now it's going to be two-point conversion. Snap back to Headings. Headings going to drive forward. Headings is in for the two-point conversion. A An interception return of 48 yards and the crush. And now have a 36-26 lead. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Stardust Lighting, shining a light on the best. Hometown Family Medical Clinic, where your health is air priority. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, we said it might be the first team that blinks, but maybe it's the second team that blinks in this one as the Wildcats got the turnover on the, the crush right at uh, the 48-yard line. Then Lander, he rolled out and was trying to make a play and threw it. I should say, uh, not Lander, but Jenkins from uh, Livingston. And he threw it right to Joseph Lander, and Joseph Lander had nothing but green in front of him. And he took it to the house, and now it's a crush 10-point advantage. So the crush now up by 10, and they'll kick it away. Big, big play by Linder, and that turns the momentum completely back around. And the crush now have all the momentum right back. Crush with a win here tonight will be the Eastern Division champions. This one's going to be a short kick. Taken by the up man, number 41. He gets away from one, then he gets hit. Spun and dropped right there, and number 41 is Brody Walker. Walker got a few yards before he's driven back to the 43. So it'll be first and 10 for the Wildcats. Now trailing by two scores and 4.08 left to go. We're still in the third quarter, folks. This one has had a whole lot of scoring in it. So uh, up will come the Wildcats. Back in the shotgun goes Jenkins. Jenkins waiting on the snap, gets it, drops, looks, looks. He's going to throw one out there. Got a man out there, and it's going to be knocked away at the last second by Hennings as uh, Nathaniel got back just in time to get a hand on it and knock it out of the hand of the intended receiver. But uh, this uh, young quarterback, uh, Jenkins, able to throw the ball. He's putting it right where it needs to be. His receivers uh, just had that one knocked away from him. He was very impressive on that fourth and 18. That was a, that was just an absolutely beautiful throw he made on that one as he led his receiver down the field perfectly for about a 30-yarder. Now it's going to be second and 10 for the Wildcats. We'll see what the Wildcats can do here. If the Crush can help me get the football back, it would be a big blow to the Wildcats. And now the snap. He drops back. He's going to let it get away. It's going to be tipped up. Almost brought down by Headings went up almost half that one. Good job by Nathaniel to knock it down. That'll make it third and ten for the Cats. Just under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Still got a long way to go in this one. Can't uh, rest yet on your laurels. As it will be back in the shotgun. Snap, he'll fake it to Wetzel, and we're going to have movement by the Wildcats. The Wildcats is going to move too quick to add a man in motion before the snap, and that's going to be a false start, and that'll back him up five. So what was the third and ten? The third and fifteen. Wildcats. Third and 15. So third and 15. 
Just under four minutes to go in the, the third quarter. Crush on top by ten now. <coughs> Up will come the Wildcats. Jenkins in the shotgun with uh, bolts to his right. Got to watch for the screen here. They'll drop back. Now they got a man cutting across the middle. That's going to be uh, number 10 coming down the reception. He'll dive forward, and he's going to get almost to the first down marker. Going to be about two yards short. Good reception there on the little slant by Rocco Carwile. And Carwile makes it a third down and about maybe two. Carwile, that little slant. No, it's going to be third and about one. That's why I thought it was a little farther than that. All right, it's fourth and one, so this is a big play here for the Crush if they can get this stop here. Back in the shotgun, Jennings, or Jenkins, I should say, Jenkins. And we're going to have a timeout called by Overton County. Overton County takes the timeout, and we'll take one with them as we got 338 left to go in the third, and it's a 10-point Crush lead. The action is red hot for the junior high football and the Fentress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Whitehead Insurance, protecting what matters most to you. Meta Thrift, dedicated to the well-being of your family. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. So the Crush uh, with the lead now, and we've got 3.38 to go in the third. We'll see what happens on this fourth and about one for the Wildcats. A hold here by the Crush could be really big. This could be a big turning point in the ball game right here. We know the Wildcats can uh, get the first down when they need a bunch. We'll see what they do when they need just a little bit. Yeah, it looks like they're going to bring in a couple of backs, and they've got... Two-man backfield now. They've got the man deep. Got uh, Jenkins under center this time. They'll line up. And they'll take the snap. I'm going straight ahead is the quarterback, and I don't know if he got it. Judging from where they're running in at, I don't know if he got it or not. He did not get a great spot on it. And uh, we'll see. if. Yeah, they say he got just enough. So first down for the Wildcats. Got just enough for that first down. And it's going to be first and 10 for Overton County. 3.20 left to go here in the third quarter. Well, it's turned out to be a very high scoring ball game. Snap back now. It's going to be Jenkins' last second pitch, and he's trying to get outside, but he's going to run down. They got bowls for a loss. Good job. I believe that's Blake Voles on the play. No, Linder. Joseph come up and made that play. Joseph made a couple of big plays here in the last few minutes. Had that interception for the touchdown. And now we got a Wildcat down on the field, and uh, – don't want to see that ever. We got one of the players down. So let's take a quick timeout while they check on him. We'll be back in just a moment. The action is red hot. Junior high football at Fitrus County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Hall Sports and Outdoors. For all things sports, it's Hall Sports and Outdoors. Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, keeping Christmas green all year long. Go Crush from the entire Crush crew. Well, the uh, player's back up. I think that was Bowles, but he's back up going off on his own, uh, um, on his own. so he is doing well, and hopefully he'll be back here in a few minutes as back up will come Jenkins now. We're down under a 240 left to go in the third quarter. Snap back to Jenkins. Jenkins looking. He's got a flag down, and that one's going to be caught for a good gain, but it's not going to be quite enough for the first down. We'll see what the flag is over here on the uh, right in front of us here, right down front of us as that one. 
We're going to have false start. That's what I thought. And that's going to make it uh, second down and about 15 for the Wildcats. That was a good reception, good play there, but uh, called back because the uh, receiver moving just a little bit quickly. So that'll make it second and 15 with 2.26 left to go here in the third quarter. Crush on top, 36-26. And now the Wildcats has backed up past the midfield, back in their own territory at the 49. And they'll come up with a second and 15 now for the Wildcats. Snap back to uh, the quarterback, Jenkins. He'll roll out. He's going to air one up there, and that one's going to come back. And that one, uh, did he come down with it? They say he did. He come back and caught it. Great play there by number 10. That is Rocco Carwile. He came back and was actually bumped by Brandon, but still come up with a catch. So first and 10 Wildcats at the 32-yard line. That wasn't a great throw by Jenkins, but Carwile, he had Brandon looking, uh, trying to keep up with him, and he just stopped and came back to the play and come up with a catch. So it's first and ten now for the Wildcats as we go down under 90 seconds here in the third quarter. Still one quarter to play after this one. The Wildcats moving the football again, trying to get back into this one. They trail by ten. Back goes Jenkins. Jenkins. Gets the snap, drops quickly. Good rush, and the throw going to be incomplete. Going to be a little bit behind uh, number four, Gentry. Gentry just could not come up with it, so that'll make it second and ten. Bowles coming back in the ball game. Bowles will come in. Out will go number 41. That is uh, Cody Walker going out. He came in when Bowles got injured. We've got 69 ticks left to go here in quarter number three. Crush trying to go keep undefeated in the regular season and also win that Eastern Division title. Back in the shotgun goes Jenkins. Jenkins. Gets it out. Drop quickly. Big rush. He gets hit just as he left. Oh, and that one's out there for Carwile. Did he come down with it? He did. What a catch by Carwile out there. Or make that Wetzel, number 12, Wetzel with a catch. And that's going to be a first and goal, I believe, for the uh, Cats as he catches that one. Looks like right at the 10-yard line. I don't know it's going to be at the 12, so it's going to be first and 10 from 12. So they're inside the red zone. That was a great catch by Wetzel as Wetzel just laid out and come up with it. So it's uh, first and ten from the 12. Up comes the crush. It'll be Jenkins getting the snap. He's looking. He'll throw a quick out this time, and that one's going to be dropped. That one would not have went for anything anyway as he was going to be hit just as quick as he caught the ball. Second and ten coming up for Overton County. Crush on top. 30 to uh, 36 26. Crush had one turnover, but then the Wildcats came back and turned it back over, and Joseph Linder made him pay taking it to the house. And the Crush is on top now by 10. Back in the shotgun. Goes Jenkins, the snap. Jenkins going to throw this one down there. He rifled that one. That's going to be incomplete. That was a way too high and hard there for number 10, Carwile. Carwile was open, but that one, he put some pepper on that one. And with 34.9 seconds, it's going to be third and goal from the, uh, ten, or from the 12. Crush here needing to just bow up and stop this drive. Out 
And I think we're going to get a timeout called by the crush. Timeout called by the crush. Timeout on the field. We've got 34.9 to go in the third. It is 36-26, crush. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Their podcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by Crush Crew, including Gary Maxwell Insurance. What are your insurance needs? Gary Maxwell Insurance is covered. Terry Excavating, moving old hills or mountains for you. Go Crush, the entire Crush Crew. The action is red. And back here where the uh, crush uh, called timeout. Uh, I don't think Coach liked the defense they were in on that one. And it's going to be third and ten for the Wildcats. Like I said, 34.9 seconds to go here in the third quarter. We still got a quarter to go in this one. And this one's uh, been a, a long one. And congratulations uh, to the York golf team. Uh, their boys won today uh, down at Cumberland Cove. Clark Rain finishing third in that one. And now the snap back, uh, uh, faking the throw is the quarterback Jenkins. Now Jenkins going to come. He's going to throw it across, back across. Great job on defense there on by the crushes. Was that Headings coming in? Yeah, Headings come in the last second and put a paw out there and batted it down. Looked like he had a man wide open, but Headings with a big play there. Going to make it fourth and ten now for the uh, Cats. 28.3 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Crush uh, trying to uh, stop the Wildcats. And it will be back in the shotgun, Jenkins. Jenkins takes a snap. Big rush. He'll throw it down the middle. Going to be caught, but is it enough for a first down? I don't think it's going to be quite enough for the first. If not, it'll be crushed football. And it's going to be crushed football. He got He needed. Ten got eight. And he's two yards shy of the first down in the crush. Uh, hold on defense for the first time tonight. Able to shut down the uh, Cats as they, they have the one interception to stop them. And now they've uh, stopped them here. And they did stop them right at the end of the first half. They had only 18 seconds. But uh, that uh, was a big stop there by the crush. Got look at the Wildcats. was going to get within two, maybe two to four points of uh, – the uh, crush, but uh, the crush able to come out with a big, big, big play there to stop this drive. And now the crush will take over at about their own uh, three or four yard line. And the crush will take it right up the middle with uh, Vols. And Vols going to bang straight ahead for a couple and get up to about, oh, about the five yard line. That's probably going to be the end of the third quarter. And it is. That's going to do it for the three of them. We're headed to the final frame of this one with the crush on top, 36-26. The action is red hot for the junior high football and the Fentress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Wyatt Insurance, protecting what matters most to you. Thrift, dedicated to the well-being of your family. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. The action is red hot for junior high football, and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Hall Sports and Outdoors. For all things sports, it's Hall Sports and Outdoors. Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, keeping Christmas green all year long. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew.
Well, thanks again once again to all the members of the Crush crew, our sponsors for the live broadcast. They are Gary Maxwell Insurance Hall, Sports and Outdoors, Terry Hick. Bainey, Stardust Services, Hometown Family Medical Clinic, Whitehead Insurance, Medithrip Pharmacy, and Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm. Well, the Crush have it second and seven. They're deep in their own territory. At about the looks like about, they're going to mark it about the seven yard line. So it'll be at the seven. Crush uh, need to get out of this deep hole here. You don't have to punt from down in here, but we'll see what the Crush can do here. They've been laying it. Uh, Heavy with Dillard and Bowles, the big boys on this uh, group. The heavy hitters been doing most of the carrying tonight. Snap back, and this one's going to be on the left side. Got to run. One player makes a tackle, and he's headed down the sideline. And that is Headings, and Headings got nobody around him. Headings going to take it to the house for a 92 yard touchdown run. That's a crush touchdown for Nathaniel Edding as he went 92-yard run. And uh, that will put the crush up on top now, 42 to 26. And that is the way to get out of the hole, folks. If you're deep in your own territory, a 92-yard run by Nathaniel Headings with 7.42 to play in the ball game. And the Crush now have pushed out to a lead of 16. Looking to make it 18, and that will make it a three-possession ball game. Snap up the middle. It's going to be Voles banging, banging, banging. Did he get there? Yes, he did. Two-point conversion by Voles. And Voles with the touchdown, or with the run, makes it... 44-26, Crush on top by 18. The action is red hot for the junior high football and the Fentress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Whitehead Insurance, protecting what matters most to you. Meta Thrift, dedicated to the well-being of your family. Go Crush from the entire Crush crew. Well, folks, uh, the Crush now. The action is real. Well, let's see if I can stop that commercial there. Now we'll say the Crush pushing it out to a 44-26 game. What big plays the Crush have had tonight. They've got a 68-yard run by Black Bulls, a 48-yard interception return by Joseph Lander, and now a 92-yard run by Nathaniel Eddings and the Crush on top, 44-26. to 26. An 18-point lead, folks. That's a three-possession uh, lead. And the way the Crush is moving the football, that's going to be a nightmare for Overton County to try to get back into this one. Crush, uh, this uh, matches, I think this matches the biggest points they've given up all year. They gave up... Uh, Actually, 20 was the most they'd given up before this one. And there, that kick's going to be dying. That one didn't get 10 yards. As that one just kind of hung up there and dropped right back. It's about a, a, about a six-yard kick. So, Crush is going to give uh, Oden County the football right at the 46-yard line of the Crush. So, the Crush uh, get, kick... Uh, didn't get much of that for some reason. He got up at under it a little bit and only went about six yards and died. So it's going to be first and ten now uh, for the uh, Cats. They need some points now. They trail by two touchdowns and uh, and uh, three extra points, I guess you could say. They really need three scores to get back in this one. As now dropping back is Jenkins. Jenkins is going to carry it out. Look at that first one right off the bat. That was going to be incomplete. Good job. Good defense. By Brandon. Brandon was right with Carwell and able to knock it down. So it's going to be second down and 10 for the Wildcats. And now the Wildcats showing a little bit of desperation. They're starting to see a little bit. Uh, they went right for it right off the bat, trying to get something back quickly. But they got stopped on that uh, drive earlier, that fourth and 10. They got eight of it, and uh, they came up just short. And that turned it over the crush. And then uh, Nathaniel Headings, a 92-yard run. 
Folks, that is some great plays by the crush here. Not just some big plays. Back in the shotgun goes the quarterback Jenkins. He'll look. He'll throw. He gets hit. He lets it go. And that one's up for grabs. And, whoa, almost coming down with it was a Wetzel. Wetzel almost came down with it. But uh, just as he started to let it go, he got leveled. And I think that was big number 66 for the crush in there. That was Gabriel Ledbetter put the stick to him just as he let it go. So good job by Gabriel. <laughs> big Steelers fan, I hear. So uh, Gabriel <laughs> coming up with a big play there with the big hit. And now it's going to be third down and 10 for the Wildcats. And the Wildcats starting to really take some deep shots. They need to just try to move the ball. They got to get a first down here. <laughs> As it will be back in the shotgun goes Jenkins. Jenkins, the snap, dropping. Now he's going to get another rush, and he gets hit. He lets this one have to throw it away. Good job there by the crushes, uh, Zion Poland. And Poland, we haven't called his name much tonight, but he got in there, and he hit the quarterback, and that caused him to have to release it early, and this is a guy had no chance of getting that one. That's going to bring it fourth and ten, and this one could be the ball game right here, folks, if uh, the Wildcats turn it over and the crush get the football back. The Wildcats may not have another shot at getting back in this ball game. We've had this. I'll tell you this, folks. I don't know if you've seen the Indoor Football League Championship this weekend, but this is scoring like IFL football. There ain't no doubt about it. And they're not on a hockey rank either. As we ready for the snap here, Jenkins. Jenkins, the snap, drops, big rush again. This time the crush got somebody staying home, and Jenkins is going to try to get outside, and he's going to be slung out of bounds. Good play by the crush over there, and that was Blake Voles coming up making the hit. And that gives the ball over to the crush on down, so that's first and ten for the crush. They will have the football right at the... 40, uh, their own 47-yard line, folks. This one has been a wild one here. These two teams have put on a show here. The Crush have given up more points than they have all year long tonight, but they've also put up more points than they have all year long tonight. Well, actually, they put up 46 last week against Allgood. They're one score away from that right now. Heading's over the right side. Heading's going to get some outside run. He'll get about seven before he's brought down. Going to make it second and short. Nathaniel over that right side gets some good yardage. Crush, as we said, scored 46 last week. They had, uh, that was their most points of the season, but right now they're at 44, and we still got 654, and they got the ball right now moving it down the field up 44-26. They've given up actually a touchdown more than they've given up all year long, but they have put up almost more points than they've scored all year long. Snap back. It's going to be headings to the left side. He's got some running. Cuts back inside. Still on his feet. Gets up to about the 34-yard line. First and 10. Crush. I think we're getting a lot of the carries now. Early it was Blake Voles. Then they got to uh, Dakota Dillard. And now uh, Heading's getting a lot of the calls here. Voles in this game. He has two touchdowns, and let's see, he's got, I think, uh, let's see, one, two, uh, maybe two uh, PATs, and then uh, this snap back to Brandon Brandon, off to Diller, Diller, right side, Diller trying to bounce outside, Diller gets uh, grabbed by the uh, jersey and drove down, still <laughs> picks up six. Dakota Dillard had some big runs tonight. Second and five for the crush now. 540 left to go in the ball game. Crush moving again. They score here, and it's going to be pretty much seal the deal time. Of course, Livingston, Overton County can put up points quickly the way they throw the ball. <laughs> here comes... Uh, 
You know, Brandon this time, Brandon on the keeper, I believe, got up to about the line of scrimmage, got driven back. <laughs> That's going to make it third down and five. Third and five for the Crush. Just under five minutes to play in the ball game. If you're watching this on Facebook, be sure to join us Friday night when York host Oneida. That's a huge region matchup for the Dragons. A pretty much must win for them. Snap back this time. Uh, two headings. Headings on left side. Headings uh, dropped there. He's going to be short of the first down. Could be fourth. And he got maybe a yard. So it's going to be fourth down and about four. And I'm pretty sure the crush will go for it here. They're sitting right now at their own, uh, or at the Wildcats, what is it, uh, right at the 28-yard uh, line, it looks like, I think. Is that right? 10, 28, yeah, 28. <coughs> so now here come the Crush with a fourth down, their first fourth down of the night. Snap, they'll give it off uh, this time over to uh, big guy Dillard. And Dillard's going to, or actually, that's Cobb. Cobb pushed in. And I don't know if he got enough for the first down. Yeah, he did. They say he got enough. So Nathaniel Cobb with his first run tonight, and he's got a first down for the crush. So the crush drive stays alive as we're down under 345 left to go. Looks like the crush is going to be hosting the first round of the playoff. They're going to be. Eastern Division champions. They still have a game with Cumberland County on uh, Friday night. Or not Friday night, but Thursday night of this week. Dave Dow, I'll have the call of that one for you. I'll be at Clark Range with a volleyball game that night. Clark Range and Coalfield, I believe, that night. Should be some good action there. Hand out this time to Dillard. Dillard pounds ahead for a couple of more. He, I'll say a couple more. He gets about five. So it's going to be... Second down and five for the crush. They continue to move the ball. 3-10 left to go in the ball game. Second and seven, they say. Actually, second and about six for the crush. As up will come the crush. Snap this time to Voles. Voles going to bang straight ahead up the middle. Voles uh, still on his feet. Fights forward. He's going to get the first down and more as he gets all the way down to it looks like about the 11 yard line. When they unstack him, it'll be first and 10 from the 11. And no, it's going to be first and goal from the 10. So he got to the 10 yard line. And now the crush uh, can't get a first down without scoring, but it's first and goal crush with 2.34 to play in the game. And they're just going to let the clock tick as that's. In their favor right now, up by 18. Crush looking to put up the most points they've scored all year if they can score again here. <laughs> Snap back, it goes to Headings. Headings right side, cuts back inside. Headings fighting for the end zone. Does he get there? No, he doesn't. It's going to be second and goal from the two as it gets eight of them. And now the Crush with a second and goal with two minutes left to go. They're going to say at the three-yard line. So, Crush uh, looking to add to this and get up over the 50-point mark. You know, this sounds like an IFL score. Like I said, if you've seen indoor football lately this year, they put up a lot of points, and that's what we've got here. We've got it already uh, at, let's see, 70 points. And now the snap to uh, Bulls. Bulls straight ahead for a crush touchdown. Yard Bulls uh, TD. And the Crush are now up a fi uh, uh, 50 to 26. And they'll go for the two-point conversion with 92 ticks left to go on the clock. Crush are going to be your Eastern Division champions and will host the first round of the playoffs. And that will come up on September 25th. They will host uh, whoever is second out of that other, the Western Division. And now Henning's going to throw for the two-pointer. And he's got it in there uh, to uh, Dillard. Dillard with the two-point conversion. 
And that is going to be good for two more. And that makes it 52-26. Crush doubling up L.A. It is red hot for the junior high football and the Fentress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Market Insurance, protecting what matters most to you. Thrift, dedicated to the well-being of your family. Go Crush from the entire Crush crew. So the Crush have doubled up the the uh, Overton County squad here in this one by a score of uh, 52 to 26. As this was a uh, tie ball game uh, going in to, or actually uh, going into the third quarter, and just starting the third quarter, it was actually a two-point game. But since then, the Crush have been on a roll. They've outscored the uh, Wildcats, let's see, that's 8-24 to, 24 to nothing in that point. So they put up 24 to nothing uh, since that uh, point, since the 628 mark in the uh, third quarter. Crush to kick it away. This was going to be a high pop-up, and it's going to hit, take a big bounce, and the crush is, Vols is going to come up, and Vols is going to take it to the house, but I don't think you can do that. I don't think they'll let you advance it. As uh, Vols uh, had it there. Vols, uh, if you could advance it, Vols had a touchdown because it took a great big hop. That was a nice kick by Soto as that one went straight up and bounced and took a big uh, basketball hop there. And Vols uh, come down with it, and he took it to the house. But uh, you can't advance the uh, kickoff. Evidently, I have to take it from where it's at. So it's going to be first and 10 for the uh, crush at the 40-yard uh, line. But uh, Vols on the night has had a, a great night. He's got two points there. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how many points he has here tonight. Um, I mean, he's been in on He's had two touchdowns, two uh, two-point conversions. And almost uh, had he not been had he been able to advance that uh, kickoff, he would have had his third touchdown of the night. So with a minute 28 to go, Vols will come back in and the crush with the lead 52-26, and he'll kneel down on it. Headings will kneel down and he'll take a couple more. And that looks like that's going to be your final here tonight. The crush going to win this one and win it big, 52 to 26. And that will knock uh, the Wildcats out of the playoffs. The Wildcats will drop down to number three. Avery Trace will step in and take over that number two spot as uh, the Crush now will be your number one team out of the Eastern Division. They are your Eastern Division champions. And he may have to snap it. Yeah, he's going to have to snap it at least one more time. It's going to be third down and... Uh, about 11 now, but uh, that doesn't matter because you're in the victory formation, and all you got to do is snap it and run the timeout, and uh, you are the Eastern Division champions. And they will host the first round of the playoffs against the Western Division runners-up. We'll have to wait and see. That's, uh, there's White County, Upman. Uh, they've got a bunch of good teams over to Cab County in that uh, district as well, so we'll have to wait and see how that one shakes out. But right now, the Crush just happy to be your Eastern Division champions. And they've got one more game uh, to go. They can go undefeated on the season if they can beat Cumberland County on Thursday night. And we'll have the broadcast of that on our Facebook page right here on Facebook. And we'll also be videoing that as well. Dave Dow is going to have the call on that one. I'll be out Clark Reigns for volleyball action that night. But... Uh, well, that one should be a good one as well. Be sure to join Dave for that one. That's going to do it for here tonight as the Crush win it here tonight. 52-26. We'll be back to wrap this one up in just a moment. The is red hot for the junior high football and the Fentress County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Whitehead Insurance, protecting what matters most to you. Meta Thrift, dedicated to the well-being of your family. Go Crush from the entire Crush crew. The action is red hot for junior high football.
Fitzpatrick's County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Hall Sports and Outdoors. For all things sports, it's Hall Sports and Outdoors. Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, keeping Christmas green all year long. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. The action is red hot for junior high football and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the replay on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Gary Maxwell Insurance. Whatever your insurance needs, Gary Maxwell Insurance has you covered. Terry Excavating, moving mole hills or mountains for you. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. The action is red hot for junior high football and the Fitzgerald County Crush is the team to watch. Our live broadcast on Facebook and the play on CLTV is brought to you by the Crush Crew, including Stardust Lighting, shining a light on the best. Hometown Family Medical Clinic, where your health is air priority. Go Crush from the entire Crush Crew. Well, the Fitzgerald County Crush are your uh, Eastern Division champions as they win here tonight by a final of 52-26. to 26. Let's go back and take a look at the scoring, folks. This may take a little while. As the Crush got on the scoreboard with 7.49 left to go in the first quarter. First play of the game uh, from scrimmage, uh, a 68-yard run by Blake Bulls. No PAT, so it was 6 to nothing. Livingston came firing back a minute later at 6.49. They had an 8-yard run from Adrian Jenkins. The two-point conversion was good. They led 8-6. to six. That was the last time the Crush trailed in the ball game because at 2.37 left to go in the first quarter, an eight-yard run by Blake Voles. He also had the two-point conversion. That made it 14-8. Uh, to eight. Then in the second quarter, it was 7.49 to go. A 41-yard pass to uh, Bowles, a screen pass from uh, Jenkins, and they did not get the two-point conversion, and we were tied at 14. The Crush then, uh, with 5.35 left to go in the second quarter, got a 30-yard run from Dakota Dillon. The uh, two-point conversion was no good. It was 20-14. to 3.33 left to go in the second quarter, a 32-yard screen pass to Bowles again from uh, Jenkins and uh, Bowles. Uh, let's see, uh, number two, uh, Jackson Bowles went in from uh, 32 yards out. The two-point conversion, no good. It was 20-20. And then with 18.3 seconds to go in the first half, uh, Dakota Dillard went eight yards in, also had the two-point conversion, so he made it 28-20 at the half. Second half was 6.28 to go, a 32-yard pass from Jenkins uh, to uh, Carwile. And Carwile, uh, Rocco Carwile went in, and the two-point conversion no good is 28-26. Then a, an interception, a 48-yard interception by Joseph Linder, the two-point conversion by Headings, and it was 36-26. Then the crush got a, uh, with 7.42 to go in the uh, uh, the uh, quarter they uh, with the uh, or in the fourth quarter they got a 92 yard run from Headings. Then with a buck 32, uh, an exit two point by Bulls, they got a two yard run by Bulls. Diller the two point conversion, and that's your scoring 52 uh, to uh, 26. Well, there's only one thing left for us to do, and that's give our uh, player of the game, and we'll do that after we tell you the Crush Crew. They are the, our sponsors: Gary Maxwell Insurance, Hall Sports and Outdoors, Terry Excavating, Stardust Services. Also, uh, Hometown Family Medical Clinic, Whitehead Insurance, Medithrift Pharmacy, and Sycamore Springs Christmas Tree Farm, our sponsors of uh, Crush Football. And it's time now for our Hall Sports and Outdoors Player of the Game. We'll be back with that right after this. Hello, this is Philip Hall with Hall Family Pharmacy and Hall Sports and Outdoors. We are proud to sponsor this broadcast Player of the Game. Be a part of the winning team. Halls is proud to be this area's number one pharmacy. And now you may visit our expansion in downtown Jamestown for all things sports and outdoors and a complete line of sports medicine equipment. Well, folks, this one could have went a couple of ways, but uh, we're going to go with Blake Voles because he got this game started the way you want to see one start, a 68-yard run, first play from scrimmage, and he got the... Uh, 
the uh, 60 or uh, 68 yard run made it six to nothing. He also had another touchdown, an eight yard touchdown run. Had two two point conversions and also made a lot of tackles over there on defense. Played some great defense as well. So Blake Voles, our uh, player of the game, our Hall of Sports and Outdoors player of the game. Well, that's going to wrap it up from us from here tonight. I want to thank Julia York over on the camera tonight as, as she did the camera work for us. Don't forget, go, coming up on Thursday night. Thursday night, the Crush will be headed over to Cumberland County for the regular season finale. This will be their last of the regular season and their first road game of the year. They, the only road game they were supposed to have was called off. That was down at Monterey. They canceled that one, so it's their first road game of the year. They'll be taking on Cumberland County. Dave Dow will have the call of that one for us here on uh, our Facebook page here on the WDB Facebook page. Me, I'll be at Clark Range Volleyball, Ash Clark Range, Coalfield, first uh, service at 6 o'clock. That's going to wrap it up for us from here tonight, though. Once again, thanks for everybody for joining us. And until uh, Thursday night when the crush head to Crossville, I'm Gary Clark. See you at the game.